How's it going everyone? Right in the eye here, back to you guys with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Skylake yet again, and in particular the i7-6700K Intel Skylake processor. And we have some overclocking, um, I don't, I don't know if you'd call them benchmarks, but it's some overclocking specs and or speculation. Um, but it seems here, um, some more, uh, Chinese, uh, Japanese websites here have released some intel showing us that the Intel Core i7-6700K has hit 5.2 gigahertz with less than one volt. See, now, the, the actual, uh, core, the core clock speed makes sense. I could see that this next processor with an extra pin and everything, you know, better power delivery, better silicon, you know, stuff like that, heat spreader, more integrated, in the new uh, Z170 boards would actually be able to net these processors that start at the same as a 4790K at 4 gigahertz could hit up to that 5.2 gigahertz easier than the 4790K because I've seen people with the 4790K hit up into the uh, 4.9 gigahertz, 4.8 gigahertz, um, fairly easy with adding somewhere around uh, 1.23, 1.33, or 1.35 volts. Personally, um, I can just show you my overclock really quick. Let me just drag it on screen. This is my current overclock on my 4790K here. So I have a, let me just uh, fire up something for you in the background. Here, let me just click here. Bear with me for one moment. All right, let me just fire up Ida 64 just for a second, and you can see as of right there, you see the maximum that it goes when it's loading. I don't need to start a stability test, but 4.7 gigahertz is what my uh, processor is currently at. So it goes. Uh, I have it overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz at 1.321 volts. And I know people would say this is kind of a high voltage for this, but I did want my uh, processors to be pretty stable. And I do have a 360 millimeter closed loop cooler cooling down the CPU. So I'm not too worried about the temperatures. I mean, I barely even hit um, right around room, room temperature is like my best case scenario. Um, we're at like 71, 73. Three degrees roughly and it depends on what I'm playing and it depends on if I have my door closed window closed and stuff like that without air conditioning in the room but 4.7 gigahertz on 1.321 volts and apparently oh sh sorry about that let me just scroll down here apparently they're able to get um oh not this one apparently they're able to get 5.2 gigahertz on 0 0.835 volts now personally that doesn't make any sense because I realized that it's on a 14 nanometer process, so that would make sense that it's, you know, smaller process would equal less voltage needed for a smaller process rather than a bigger process. But, I mean, they're adding a whole extra pin here, and the TDP is going up, so I, I don't understand why that they're getting these numbers with um, such a low voltage on this processor. See? So, like, I mean, I would be, I would see this to be more believable, but definitely at this one point, at uh, this 5.2 volts, if the voltage was a little higher in this screenshot here, if the voltage was somewhere around like a 1.1, a 1.2 even, uh, volts for a 5.2 gigahertz, that's a, that's, remember guys, this is 1.2 gigahertz overclocked from the base clock of 4.0, so... I need, to, I need to see a little bit more voltage for me to see that this is believable. See, now, the, uh, the really weird thing is, is that I have another insight here. This is over. This is the overclock, uh, as I said, speculation, take it with a grain of salt. This is the overclock of um, five or 6.5 gigahertz on liquid nitrogen for this. And this is at 2.032 volts. So we're up in the liquid nitrogen uh, stages of... Um, overclocking here so of course your voltage is going to be insane because you have so much cooling uh, performance to keep your stuff cool you have liquid nitrogen for crying out loud but 6.5 gigahertz at 2.032 volts so now that's a lot more believable so why the hell is it over a volt at uh, 1.2 volts almost to get from to get this and then go all the way down to this. So the overclock is 1.3 gigahertz higher, but they're adding over a whole volt. So why is this voltage here on the 5.2 uh, 
volts on air, or 5.2 gigahertz on air, why is it so low? See, now this just this just uh, makes me wonder what we're going to be able to get. If this is true, it's going to make me wonder what we're going to be able to get as far as performance with, um, let's say, a liquid cooler or an aftermarket uh, uh, open loop, custom loop cooling for this uh, processor. So, like I said, I would love to have this thrown into my rig. I uh, get that brand new Gigabyte GAZ170X G1 gaming motherboard, the one that's all white, black, and red. I would love to get my hands on that, throw some uh, DDR4 Corsair Vengeance LPX 2666 MHz RAM in there, and just run that stuff as a test bench and see what I can get as far as overclocking. Because if I could hit this, I would be happy to get rid of my 4790K right now. But as of right now, I don't see this really being worth it in the sense of how much money you're going to spend to get these three things, the DDR4 if you're upgrading from DDR3, uh, the new processor, and the motherboard. And I don't see like if that'll net you any bit more performance than if you were just to go over to the X99 Enthusiast platform. Say, even if you started with the 5820K, 5820K, I guarantee, would probably have more lanes than this, if not the same. We did say that this uh, i7-6700K Skylake processor would get more lanes. Um, the 4790K currently is at 16, so maybe this one will be at 20, 24 is what the 5820K is at. So if it's equaling that, then the 5820K would be probably obsolete. Then again, uh, as of right now, I've seen the listings of the 5820K around $380. This one is supposed to be around $400. So that's a little interesting. And the best thing, you can spend like a, like a couple hundred dollars more and you can get the uh, i7-5930K, which is a 6-core hyper-threaded processor with 12 logical threads when it's registered in Windows. And I've seen people overclock that thing a gig and a half. From or like a whole gig from uh, 3.5, I believe it starts at to 4.0 very easily without even that many volts. And that's even the X99 platform. So, okay, guys, this has been right in the eye here, bringing you guys some numbers on the Skylake processor supposed overclocks. Please like this video if you liked it. Please dislike this video and leave a comment down below as to why you did so. If you have any suggestions, I will, this has been right in the eye, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.